collection of objects we can also store a number of objects inside a list or a dictionary the below example we have a list of mobile objects and we are iterating over the list and printing the values look at the code we have a class a mobile and has two attributes brand and price both are public brand and price and we are creating five objects we are assigning all the objects to a list list of mobiles and then we are iterating through we take one by one mobile takes first object prints its properties like brand and price then takes like a second object third object four object uh, up to five objects let's visualize this mobile object is created instance created then map to another instance is created getting created three four five five mobile objects we have instance we have created one two three four five now we are storing all of them into the list look at this list of files so it has five and all the five are connected to various instances now using iterate we are iterating it through we take first mobile mobile one in list of mobiles we take first mobile is taken into consideration so mobile one currently is pointing to the first first mobile instance it prints its apple and thousand look at this then as loop box the second it, it now it is pointed to the second instance it is printed now it is pointed to the third instance then fourth instance look at this mobile is pointing to fourth instance finally it is it points to fifth instance this is it right so it prints all the values that's about it so it is possible to store objects into collection of objects into a list or a dictionary what do you think will be the output of the below code mobile in, mobile class two attributes brand and price they are creating three objects apple first one is apple 1000 samsung 2000 apple is 3000 now we are assigning all of them into the list of mobiles then using the third reference variable mob3 we are assigning its attribute price now we are re resetting it to samsung so it is obvious that the third value instead of apple it will print samsung because it is updated with samsung look at this all the three instances are created now we are assigning it to the list list of mobiles now we are trying to access the brand attribute of mob3 reference variable and update to samsung look at this this is it brand3 mob3 is is pointing to this value and we are changing the brand we are trying to update it look at this so it is updated to samsung so when you try to print it will obviously print samsung only dictionary of objects we can also store objects in a dictionary for example in the below code we are storing all the mobile objects in a dictionary and printing only those mobiles whose price is greater than 3000 look at this example same way created a class two attributes brand and price three reference with three object creation and three reference variables mobile one mob one mob two mob three then we are assigning it to a dictionary m1 as a mob one m2 as a mob two m3 as a mob three then a dictionary you can we can access it like a key value basically it stores as a key value pair so we take key value in mob dot items mob dictionary dot items we take if so we set a condition saying if value dot price value key is this and value is this value dot value is an object so we take object dot price correct object value will be for every single object mob1 will be pointing to mob1 will be pointing to value right now value dot price value will have two attributes now brand and price you are checking if the price is greater than 3000 you are printing it otherwise you don't print it three mobile object uh, instance in uh, mobile instance are created values are assigned now we are creating dictionary this is a dictionary right so we take a key value mob dictionary dot items of so we take the first one right key value so key is m3 and value is the first item it is pointing to the first item this particular it is stored randomly mob1 it is not coming in the order we have stored it it can come in any any random order so first m3 is is coming out so if it is m3 object reference variable should be m mob3 
So this is it. So key is M3 and value is pointing to this instance. So we're taking it if check the value dot price is greater than 3000 the price is not greater than 3000. So it does not print. Then it goes up. Now the value is pointing to the second instance key is M2 value is pointing to mark 2 right. It checks value value is greater than 3000. Yeah, it is. It is greater than 3000. So it prints it. Look at this Samsung 5000 is printed. Then it moves to the second third values key is M1 and value is pointing to mobile instance 1. Now its price is 1000. Since its price is 1000, this value does not get printed. That's about it. A simple tryout. We have a list of customer objects. Complete the code so that we have a dictionary of customer objects based on location. So we created a customer class and it has three uh, attributes like customer ID, customer name and location. Now we are assigning all of them. We are uh, uh, within the list, we are creating object and assigning it in the list itself. Customer of, we are creating object. Customer of 101 mark US. So this is called and values are set. A new object is created and stored in the, as a, in the first index, zeroth index. Then customer of, we create another object, then three objects we create. Now we'll have to store it here, here in the, in the, in the dictionary of customer. But we need to complete, uh, have to dictionary of customer based on the location. We'll have to take a location then store it, something like that we need to do. Look at the code. So we take customer by customer from the list and we check, uh, you know, dictionary of customer, customer dot location is equal to customer. So we take the customer, customer location, then we assign it to that. For, uh, in the dictionary. Let's see how this works. Two instances, uh, three, totally three instances, all the three instances are uh, the last third instance, Kumar India, all the three instances are created. Now it is stored in the list. Now we will have to convert, uh, we will have to create a dictionary. An empty dictionary is created. Now we are going to take first customer. So first customer is this mark 101 right now we take dictionary of customer of customer at location is nothing but us customer at location is us then we are assigning the customer to this this is assigned this us is the, the key is taken and the value is the customer instance this is how it is assigned then we take second key Second key is nothing but Japan. Second key is taken and the value is this instance. Key is Japan and value is this instance. And you take third one, India and the instance is this. Key is India because we will have to choose based on customer location. So you can simply access them one by one if you like to access, you can access them. So customer name in India. We say customer name in India, dictionary of customer, you can simply mention the uh, country name and if you say customer name, dot customer name, it will give us the result. Kumar, this is the result we need to get. So dictionary can be accessed this way. If you, if you still have any doubt, you can go back to refer the videos which we have discussed about dictionaries. In the collections, we have dictionaries. So if you move on to the next uh, section, they have given the solution itself how to access them as we have done it and uh, we have, they also have taken it as a key value pair and they are trying to access key value value has customer name then value id also they are trying to print so as we had it in the previous example the uh, uh, key value the way we have accessed in the key value pair the way we have accessed it here key value we have taken we, in fact here we have created our own key but there we have taken it from the list and stored it. The same way we can access it here. Key is simply a key, country name. Key gives us country name and the value has two attributes. Value is, it will be holding the current object, customer or current customer object. It will be giving us, uh, it will have two, 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 not three attributes, customer ID, customer name and location. You can print any of them you want. So uh, they are give, giving a tip, Eclipse tip, giving a class outline. You can, you can follow the same step to see the class outline. Have you included all the attributes and methods of the class you are coding? Do you want to check this before verify? 
Class structure gives the outline of a class you are coding in Eclipse. To view the class structure, click on window, show view and other. You just simply follow these steps. It works very well. So in the view of uh, other dialogues, other after clicking other, you will have to choose other dialogues and select general outline and click OK. General in the general, you will have to click outline and then click OK. You should be able to get the class view. Like we have a class diagram, you can have a class view, right? Um, getter setters, uh, init methods, right? All that it gives us and bubbly other methods as well it gives us. Quick summary, everything is treated as an object in Python. We can use objects inside collections. Encapsulation is preventing access to data outside the class. Adding a double underscore in front of an attribute makes it private. In Python, adding a double underscore changes the name of the attribute to underscore class name underscore double underscore attribute.